plan and Welcome back into the Friday Night 360 AZ Preview Show. Haley Stasiak and Jordan Ham here with you. We are breaking down Week 7 matchups. Jordan, let's start out with Desert Ridge at Mountain Point. Mountain Point's obviously got quarterback Nick Wallerstedt, who is a dual threat. And then, for me, the biggest thing that the Jaguars are going to have to or have to combat is Mountain Point's defense. You've got Tyree Johnson, Kenny Churchwell, and Shamari Hayes, who are going to be a threat to that offense. Yeah, shocker. Uh, Mountain Point has a good defense. I don't think that's happened in the past couple of years or anything like that um, but yeah they, they have a ton of playmakers on the defensive side of the ball uh, Kenny Churchwell I think was a guy that was overshadowed a little bit last year uh, by Isaiah Polamau in that secondary he's really kind of uh, for lack of a better term spread his wings uh, but he's been a, a playmaker all over the place the past couple of years uh, and Norris Vaughn's teams are very good in the trenches on the offensive side of uh, on the offensive line on the defensive line and that's just their bread and butter Desert Ridge has had a nice year so far uh, especially Actually, they've, they've had to combat a lot of um, youth on that team. They, uh, Coach Hathcock told me that they had something like 13 sophomores starting this year at, at various points. Wow. So they've had a lot, a lot of youth, but they're sitting at 6-1 and one right now. Their remaining three games, though, against Mountain Point, Desert Vista, and Highland, that's a combined 16-5 and five record. So going to be a tough stretch for them uh, as they continue their season. Marana at Post and Butte. You were down at Marana earlier this year and spoke mm -hmm. with head coach Andy Litton. What was it that he told you about this team that's clicking? Well, that they have experience now. Last year, they started the year 0-2 um, and, and ended the year 9-3. and and going through that process, it's almost an, an exact mirror of what they did last year, uh, where they started 0-2 against uh, some very good competition, but now are just rattling off win after win. Uh, Trenton Bourget is the quarterback over there. I think he's one of the more underrated quarterbacks in this state. Uh, can do a little bit with the legs, but has a huge arm. Uh, takes care of the football as well. And then Tion Simmons is uh, a receiver for them. He has 20 receptions on the year, and 13 of them have gone for touchdowns. So uh, that's uh, pretty efficient there. For Post and Butte, the Tigers are going to have to stop the run game. Connor McDonald, Larry Tripp, and Tyler Thompson are all key guys for the Broncos that they will have to look out for. Uh, Desert Vista Highland. I've mentioned in previous shows when I saw Desert Vista match up against Perry, I was a little shocked and kind of weary about the rest of the season, but the record has shown improvements. Their only losses are to Perry and Mountain Point. Uh, Highland also has two losses, however, to those exact same teams. So it's going to be a really interesting matchup. They lost to Mountain Point last week, 14 to 13 with the final score there. Keeping an eye on these offenses, though, mm -hmm. because Highland is a heavy team and Desert Vista's Derek Klein is a dual threat. So it's going to be interesting to see how these defenses adjust and stop these offenses. Yeah, Derek Klein has bounced back nicely since uh, that first week where he struggled. 13 touchdowns, three interceptions, very efficient as a passer. Also the team's leading rusher. Uh, so getting it done uh, uh, both on the ground and in the air for Desert Vista. Cactus at Higley. Both of these teams are also run heavy. Demaria Norris for Cactus is over 1,100 rushing yards. And then Drayson Hall for Higley has just over 800. Yeah, and these are two of the best running backs you're going to see in this state. Uh, here's a stat for you. The two have combined for 9,755 total yards in their careers. Uh, that's rushing and receiving. Uh, they can do a little bit of everything uh, in this in their offensive systems and have been playing. They're, they're very seasoned as well. They've been, in the case of, uh, of uh, Hall, I, I believe he played a little bit as a freshman and has worked his way up. Uh, same thing with Norris. He had a great sophomore year and has just been kind of the staple of that cactus offense as well. So two very good uh, stat fillers in this game. These guys are probably uh, under recruited right now and it might be at least in the case of Hall uh, because of his size. He's a little bit uh, smaller. He picked up a U of A offer. That was his first power five offer a couple weeks ago. I think the offers are going to come for both of those guys moving forward. Desert Mountain at Horizon, you are heading out to this game. What are you looking out for? Well, it's going to be a couple of really good offenses. Uh, Desert Mountain uh, can put up points, but in losses, they're giving up 60 points a game on defense. Uh, 
in wins, they're giving up 28. So Horizon has a lot of talent, a lot of experience up front as well. Nash Giffen making plays on both sides of the ball. He's a running back, uh, the team's leading tackler as well. On Desert Mountainside, Josh Walker uh, is a huge playmaker for them. Horizon's going to have to limit that. And it's an interesting scenario here for Horizon. They were sitting at this exact same record, 6-1, and one, at this point last year, and they lost their last three games, didn't make the postseason. Um, so they're going to, they have a, uh, it's Desert Mountain, Boulder Creek, and then Pinnacle. So three pretty big games coming up. Um, obviously a, a ton more experience this year. Uh, I really like their quarterback as well. He, he's a du dual threat guy. Uh, so we'll see how the, the rest of the year shakes out for them. That does it for our week seven breakdown. Be sure to use the Friday night 360 AZ hashtag this Friday night and all season long. And coming up next, we have Tyler Shuck with Brad Sess. Matt Tyler Shuck, one of the top quarterbacks in the entire nation, the Hamilton QB. He just flipped his commitment from North Carolina and Oregon. He tells Brad Sess, Matt, why coming up next on the Friday night 360 AZ preview show.